السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ والصلاۃ والسلام على رسول اللہ دس از دی ایٹ لیکچر ان دی سیریز آف لیکچرس آن دا اسٹڈی اسٹیٹ ایرس دس لیکچر ول ڈسکس دی ایفیکٹ آف دی نان یونیٹی فیڈ بیک سسٹمس آن دا اسٹڈی اسٹیٹ ایر اینڈ وی ول آلسو ڈسکس فیو انالیسز اینڈ ڈیزائن ٹیکنیکس Uh, in this lecture fundamentally engineers has to deal such type of closed loops uh, to analyze and design the controller in control system engineering so before proceeding for the uh, analysis and design study it is better to define the meaning of all the transfer functions in this block though the signals we have studied previously that the rs signal is the reference signal and sometimes we say to it set point whenever it is constant and whenever it is changing we can say that this is the desired trajectory and cfs is the output of the plant e a 1s or eas is the signal which uh, uh, is the difference of these two signal but it is not the basic error signal so then controller um, uh, do some manipulations of this signal and produce an actuation signal which uh, acts upon the plant and in response the plant uh, produce an output cfs and that cfs follows Uh, some specifications uh, according to which the closed loop has been designed so here e a 1s which is the actuation signal or eas this is equal to g1s rfs minus h1s cfs and definitely this is not equal to this is not equal to rfs minus cfs equal to efs this means that the actuation signal eas is not equal to efs so in this situation we have to look for analytic technique uh, which can give us the error of the signal from the block diagram g1s uh, is the transfer function of the input transdu transducer and h1s is the transfer function of the uh, measurement system uh, this can be that whenever we are converting the output signal to the suitable signal in electrical engineering from like suppose pressure we are going to convert it to the voltage or current so definitely there will be a transfer function so this h1s shows us the instrumentation transfer function or the measurement transfer function those type of transfer functions will come here and g2s is the combination of the series combination of the plant and the controller we say that this is the forward combination and it is the open loop transfer function of the system over here we can say that g2s g2s is equal to two blocks like g2cs which is the controller transfer function and of course they are connected in the series we represent it by a dot and here is the g2 ps and this is the plant transfer function so in this situation we need to analyze the steady state error and the steady state error we will be getting from efs using the uh, 
uh, final value theorem. Uh, so the solution one can think easily that if we can convert this whole block diagram to the standard unity feedback diagram, then whatever we have studied in the previous seven lectures, we can directly apply those for the analysis of this type of structure. So in the rest of the lecture, we will be discussing how we can convert this closed loop to the unity standard unity feedback system. So the discussion of the definitions of the transfer function uh, is given here in the clean format. So this is the same thing G1S, G2S, H1S and as EAS we have already discussed. So solution to the problem is to convert the this uh, closed loop to a closed loop of the unity feedback format and we will be doing this in four steps. Uh, the first thing like the problem solution we give that the system the problem should be converted into unity feedback system. So th this problem we will discuss in four steps. The first step to write down this system to this format and to do this it is easy if we want to move this transfer function from here to here. So what will happen then we will have to divide this transfer function also by G1S. So in this case G of S will be equal to G1S into G2S and H of S will be equal to H1S upon G1S and if you are going to take the closed loop transfer function of this one or if you find the closed loop transfer function of this they will be same. So these two uh, uh, representations are equivalent. So the type version is here. So this is the same thing what we discussed. Then we split the this transfer function into this format uh, which is easy like what we did we added one feedback with plus and one with minus. So this is plus one and this is minus one. So both of them, the addition of both of them will become zero. And after them, that what we do, we will combine these two together, which will be equal to H of S minus one. So then the black over here will become H of S minus one so the clean version of this discussion is here so then we converted in the previous one this block to this one and now it is easy to write down the closed loop transfer function for this one so this together will be an equivalent transfer function G equivalent transfer function and then the block diagram will become something like this like G equivalent and here we will have unit feed, unity feedback here it will be plus one and minus one and then we can use the uh, theory whatever we have studied in the previous seven lectures. So to find out like these two together here I am writing G E Q S is the this equivalent transfer function. So how to find out this equivalent transfer function it is easy like we have this block this block so we can say that G E Q S this will be equal to G of S upon 1 plus G of S into H of S minus 1 and then the simplification will give us G of S upon 1 plus H of S G of S 
minus g of s. So this is the same transfer function, whatever is written over here, and then I simplified it. So basically, you should not memorize this derivation because this derivation always you can get. And you should be knowing that any system which is given us to in this format g of s h of s that system we can write in this format so here it is minus 1 and here it is plus 1 they cancel each other so then we can write it in this format and at the end the system will become this and this we have studied extensively previously in the lectures so here we have given a problem like this and uh, we have to find out the uh, steady state appropriate error constants and the steady state error for the unit step input. So the first thing we will convert this according to the uh, theory what we studied in the previous slides. Here we consider this is G of S, this is H of S and we studied over there that g equivalent will be equal to g of s upon 1 plus g of s h of s minus g of s and once we find out this equivalent uh, uh, transfer function the block we can rewrite in the standard format unity feedback system so here we find this so when insert the values over here this will be the final result so on the next slide we will see this is the block diagram so what is the type of system now the type of the system is zero so it is type 0 system. So the appropriate error constant is Kp. And we know how to find out the Kp. We studied this that Kp is equal to uh, limit s tends to 0 and it will be equal to g of g equivalent s. And when we put s is equal to 0 and simplify, so the constant Kp is here. The steady state error is given by this E infinity will be equal to minus 4 and this is the steady state error for the unit step input because our constant over here is Kp the system is type 0 therefore the uh, steady state error for the ramp input and for the parabolic input or any of the higher polynomial uh, reference inputs the steady state error will diverge here it is constant and it is a big error uh, so the question proper question one can pose like how we can design the closed loop such that the error up, uh, uh, converts to zero or to a small positive value Here we discuss the disturbance effect whenever the closed loop is non-unity feedback. So there is some work for the student. They should be finding this that how we can write down the error equation in this format. The way you have to deal the problem, do it yourself. But first consider R of S is equal to 0 and solve the closed loop and then consider d of s is equal to 0 and at the end you can combine it. So the question uh, one can give in the previous block diagram that if the r of s and d of s, r of s is the reference input or the step input and the uh, set, set point this one and the disturbance both of them are the unit step uh, the Laplace transform of the unit step function is 1 over s 
So in this case, the question is how we can uh, choose the uh, values of the transfer function such that this error become steady state error become zero. So to do this, the problem can be divided into two parts like this is zero. This transfer function is zero and this one is zero. To handle this problem, uh, we proceed something like this. The system is, I, I copied the transfer functions from the previous slide over here. Now, we say that, suppose the closed loop is stable and then G1S is of type 1. That is G1S is equal to K1 upon S as S tends to 0. K1 is the gain of the system and there is an integrator. Similarly, we say that G2S is type 0 and over there K2 is the gain of the system. Whenever we say that S tends to 0, so it will be the gain of the system. Then H of S, we consider H of 0 is equal to 1 that the gain of this transfer function is 1 and this is the instrumentation transfer function and whatever the measurement uh, um, devices are coming in the market uh, their gain is mostly 1. So then we can rewrite these two equation in this format. So here it will be k1 k2 upon s 1 plus k1 k2 s. So whenever s tends to 0 this will tends to 1. So uh, qualitatively we can say because whenever s tends to 0 so this one uh, will be going very large value towards infinity this will go towards infinity are very large values so therefore this ratio will be equal to 1. Can you show this using the uh, limits? So then this is 1 this one is also equivalent to 1 so 1 minus 1 will be equal to 0. Similarly we can look to uh, the second transfer function this one and we can write s tends to 0 so it will become equivalent to this one so whenever s tends to 0 this means k1 k2 divided by s so this will be equal to infinity so k2 divided by infinity will give us 0 so in this case uh, the question can be solved whenever the g1 s transfer function is the type 1 transfer function due to s is the type 0 and the transfer function of the measurement system the gain of the transfer function of the measurement system is uh, unity r1 so thank you very much this completes the discussion about the non-unity feedback systems